it's such an incredible story and, and we really are so thankful to Suzanne for adding on to something that's so iconic. I grew up a fan of this series and so I, I'm still kind of comprehending that I get to be a part of that world. The Chinese theater for me is glamour, it's Hollywood, it's big, it's bold, and I think that Hunger Games, it's a good fit. I mean, it's amazing. I grew up like watching premieres happen here as a young like aspiring actor, so to be able to be here bringing this incredible film to fans and, and hopefully a new generation of fans is uh, really an honor. I kind of can't believe I'm here right now. Lucy Gray is a very mercurial young lady, and she goes on a journey of self-discovery, but also self-preservation. He's a future tyrant, but he's nowhere near being there yet at the beginning of the film. Um, so he's, you know, a young man who is ambitious and uh, somewhat power-hungry to a toxic extent, but he still has hope and love in his heart. I call her the demented mentor. I think she's the one who slowly but surely transforms Snow and helps him to believe what are the Hunger Games for? and step into his destiny. Well, he's got one of my favorite names of any character I've ever played, Casca Highbottom. Basically, he's the creator of the Hunger Games, and he now is living with the guilt of sort of uncorking the, the terrible genie that he can't get back into the bottle. It is the Hunger Games you know and love, but it delves into the reason why, and Suzanne Collins is exceptional at holding up a mirror to society and asking the real tough questions that don't necessarily leave us with an answer, but definitely leave us wanting more.